Abusia, yeah, yeah, spiritual Israelites. In fact, aha, uh -huh, most shame. And of course, papa did ya no more casey and I eco free to go na e bayana. We are Israelites, we are Israelites. Today we are going to find out whether we are Israelites or Dagombes. I welcome you to Revelations. You are watching the biggest, the largest, the highest, the greatest, the tallest, the mightiest African spiritual platform. I'm always Queen Hadasha, call me Empress Makida. I, I am Labraska, the sun goddess. I am the spear of destiny. Call me the woman of peace. Call me Naboli Gaya. Me jidin so. Me just say, a di mudini. And your bottom is so. Your bo me din sa so soa. Na me hu a kenyame. Na se me hu nya a kenyame se so a. And your net say, ba be trend se me gu niya bin se me. Our platform no so. Me man kran krebiya akwa ba. E de ba the biggest spiritual platform so love love and hate hate is one of our slogan if it's not the truth come and tell us the truth abusia i love you guys my pearls i love you i love you love you love you i welcome you with love and uh, let's welcome our father on set papa we welcome you to revelations thank you great okay so today is your first time on this big platform mm. please kindly introduce yourself to us Say hello to my people and tell us who you are. Now that's an extraordinarily difficult thing. Who am I? Who do you say I am? You have to tell us. Or you are Jesus. No, no, of course not. Uh, because Jesus asked that question. I don't know. Uh, I'm okay. a Jew myself. Okay. My name is Joris Wartenberg. I was born in Second D. Um, uh, my family is from Elmina, uh, but we are descended from Dutch Jews, so we are Israelis also, uh, but Ghanaian. Now that they, we have double citizenship, so you know we can we can claim both. You know. um, who am I? Um, nobody really. I, um, I'm just one of the crowd. <laughs> one of the crowd? Yeah, one of the people who live in Ghana. Are, are you calling us crowd? No. There's a, a population of people who live in Ghana. I'm one of them. We welcome you. Thank you. Abuzia, obey your day. This is our guest for today, one of our fathers. But you said you are what Israelite? No, no, I said we are Dutch. We, we are descended from Dutch Jews. Dutch Jews? Yeah. So are you a Jew? Naturally. Eh. Do you have evidence? Evidence? I'd have to show you my blood. It's the blood of, of, of Jacob. The blood of Jacob? Yes. The one in the Bible? Uh, where, where else? Ah, but there are a lot of Jacobs. We yeah, have Jacob business. No, no, I mean Jacob, our father, Jacob. The one in the also Bible. Also known as Israel. Also known as Yeshurun. So the one in the Bible. Well, you could say that. Okay. You, are you not sure? Well, when you say Bible, you could mean anything. I would say Tanakh. Do you know Bible? I know the Tanakh. Do you know Bible? I know the Tanakh. The Bible we use in church. Have you seen one before? I don't go to a church. Should I show you one Bible and ask if you know about it? My dear. Yes, sir. Every Bible that you talk about was produced by a Jew. So you know Bible? My people. So you know Bible? Well, if my people produced it, how would you know it better than I Bible? am? I'm going to ask a question. The reason I'm asking you this, you mm. said the Bible you know is the Tanakh. Yes. Uh -huh. So I'm asking you if you know the Bible we are using in church. No, I don't. I, because I don't go to church. Get me one Bible, please. That's it. Get me the bigger one. Thank you. Okay, so this is the Bible. This is Dick. Do you know this Bible? No. Have you seen one before? Never. 
Okay. I wanted to know if the Bible, the Jacob you are referring to, is the one in this Bible. But since you don't know this Bible, let's leave it. Because we don't use Tanakh in church. I'm sure you don't. Mm -hmm. We don't use Tanakh. But the, the, we, the, the Bible came out of Tanakh. But we don't use no, Tanakh. No, no, no. No Bible came out of Tanakh. Tanakh and the Bible have got nothing to do, nothing in common. Okay, let me make it simple for you. Okay. Tanakh is a Hebrew word for what you call the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you say it has got nothing to do with the Bible, that's what I don't understand. Because when you say Bible, uh -huh. you can refer to any other books other than the Tanakh. Do we have any other book? Yes, you have so, you've got something called the New Testament, haven't you? It's, it's all Bible. It's in one Sorry, Bible. Sorry, it is not part of my Bible. Your topic is the ten lost tribe of Israel. Take us through. When you read the Tanakh, principally the Chronicles, um, you find that about 3,000 years ago, uh, the kingdom of Israel split into two after the death of King Solomon. His son, I think it was Rehoboam, took over and um, was pretty harsh with the uh, population. Please do me a favor. Mm. Let us understand Tanakh. What book is called Tanakh? What you call the Old Testament. That the is what we call Tanakh. The Old Testament in our Bible. No, no, not in your Bible. The Old Testament, what you call the Old Testament, is what is what we call Tanakh. Leave it at that. It makes life a lot simpler. Eh? <laughs> it makes life a lot simpler. No. So, anyway, the kingdom split into two. The northern kingdom of Israel, which contained ten of those tribes, and the southern kingdom of uh, Judah, which contained Judah and Benjamin, the two brothers. Yeah? The ten other brothers seceded. And they went to live, they were living what is called the West Bank now, Samara, uh, Samaria. Anyway, they were conquered by the Assyrians a, few, a couple of thousand years ago. And from that time that they were conquered, they were thrown out of Israel and up until today, nobody knows who they are and nobody knows where they are. Nobody in the world knows who they are. Nobody knows where they are. But when we go to a synagogue, when we go to a Jewish synagogue, yeah, every prophecy, every prophet, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, uh, uh, Amos, uh, uh, Joel, Micah, every prophecy literally always talks about the day when the ten lost tribes of Israel will be reunited with the tribes of Judah and Benjamin, together called the Jews, and come back to Israel to worship the God of Israel and live there forever and be ruled according to Ezekiel chapter 38, the value of the bones be ruled by King David, who will be resurrected. That's Ezekiel 38. You see that what the problem is? The reason I was asking, if the Tanakh you are talking about is the Bible, so that when you quote, people will go and read. That's why I want you to uh, um, uh, um, establish it. I, I want you to establish that the Tanakh you are talking about is the Old Testament in the Bible. So people will go and, and read. But if you say the Tanakh has got nothing to do with the Bible and you don't know the Bible and you are quoting Ezekiel, where do we read that one from? You do not say yeah, that a book comes from, another, from a book from its own self. The Tanakh is the whole book that we use and that you call the Old Testament. It doesn't come from a Bible. It is itself the Bible. It doesn't come from anywhere else. That is the complete, total Bible and the only Bible there is. 
There is nothing more. But you said you don't know Bible. Now you are saying it's a complete Bible. No, no. It is the Bible itself. It does not come from a Bible. Do you so understand? what you are quoting, where do we, where, where do we You get it from the Tanakh, it? which is the total complete book that we Jews call the Bible. Continue. Have you understood me now? No, but you continue. And the book of Ezekiel is a prophet in the Tanakh. Okay? One of the prophets in the Tanakh. Anyhow, so that was the ten lost tribes of Israel. They got lost. Nobody knows who they are. Nobody knows where they are. But every prophecy says, in the end of days, they will be identified and reunited with the children of Israel, with, with the Judah, to come back into the land that their fathers were promised, the promised land in Israel. Today, since 1948, Judah has been able to conquer back our land in Israel. And they are there now. And waiting, according to the prophecy of Ezekiel and all other prophecies, for us, the ten lost tribes of Israel, to go back. So the ten lost tribe of Israel, who gave birth to them? The same person who gave birth to Judah and uh, Benjamin. Jacob and his wives. And his wives gave birth to them. Mm. And you happen to be one of them. Happen to be one of who? I'm from Judah. Uh, so you are one of them, the 12 tribes? Or? Yeah, sure. That's what I'm asking. So who, yes, who yes. was your grand grandmother? Because Jacob has a lot of wives. Wives. They made... Oh, this daughter. was thousands of years ago. Uh -huh, so you mm. wouldn't know. Who? The mother of Judah? That when you trace... The mother of Judah was not, Leah. Not the mother of Judah was Leah. So you are from the Leah family? Yes. Not Rahel. Ra what Rahel? What was Rahel? Leah. Leah. Leah was Jacob's first wife. Yes. Yes. And he true. gave birth to Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah. So you are from Leah's family. So yes. do you what? Which one of you came from um, Rahel? Oh, that's only two. Uh, 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 Joseph and Benjamin. So, when you trace them, do you find all them too? Like yes, naturally, yeah. These are part of the ten lost tribes of Israel. So you find them too. Continue mm. with your, your submission. What we're trying to do is because these days appear, appear, mind you, to be akin to the prophecies about the end of time. It's not the end of the world, the end of time. Um, we believe that it is time to search for and to find and locate the ten lost tribes of Israel so we can encourage them to go back and join their brothers in Israel to fulfill the prophecy. Which Israel? The Israel that there is now. The one they are fighting? Yes, the one where uh, we are not fighting in Israel, we are fighting in Gaza. Who and who are fighting in Gaza? Our brothers Jews. So you said Israel are not fighting. Are they not the ones fighting with Gaza people? Yes, our uh -huh. people. Not Israelites. Judah. Are they not Israelites? They are part of the Israelites, yeah. Okay. Well, but if you have... Uh, Fantis uh, fighting against some people out there in uh, in uh, Ivory Coast or something. We say Ghanaians are fighting there. They are Ghanaians. They may be Ghanaians, but it's not Ghanaians fighting there. It's Fantis. It's a particular tribe. Continue. You must you must <laughs> you must differentiate between them. The children of Israel, as a nation of Israel, is not complete. There are still ten tribes. Ten. The majority of the tribes are still lost. It is necessary to find them and bring them back home to come and serve the God of Israel. Which is? Which is the God of Israel. What's his name? Hashim. 
Okay, continue. <laughs> Do you know what Hashem means? Hashem, I know. What does it mean? They said that you can't mention his name, so you say Hashem. So what does it mean? Is it not God, so what people say God? No. It's what? Hashem means the name. Hashem means the name. Yeah, so we call him the name God of Israel, God of Abraham, God of Isaac. Continue. Okay. So the time has come really when we must discover and find these 10 lost tribes, not to send them back home. And <coughs> it is my view that when you look at the names of the tribes we have here. Here where? In West Africa. Okay. And uh, look at their practices and their culture and everything about them. And you ask them, the elders of those tribes, they will tell you that they are Israelites. Can you mention some of and the tribes? And you tribe also talk about the, the, uh, their language. It's all Israelite. We need to know Hebrew. some of these tribes. Oh, yes, I can tell you all of them. Okay, please. All the, all the ten lost tribes. Uh, there's Reuben. Uh, you know, you pronounce these names in English. But when they are pronounced in ancient Hebrew, it's a totally different thing. So Reuben, uh, is in ancient Hebrew, was pronounced Ibo. Ibo. So the Ibos of Nigeria are the first son of Jacob. Then there's Simeon, and uh, that is pronounced Semein. In fact, in uh, the Jews have a name Shemein, Semein, the same thing. Semein. In Zemafo. Yeah, in Zemafo. Mm. Continue. I like that. Mm. Mm. Then there's Levi, which is Evi in Hebrew. Ewe. Ewe, yeah. Mm. Continue. Okay. Then there's Judah, of course. Then there's Judah uh, is who we want. Judah to is Jew. The Jews. The, the the Jews are a combination of Judah and Benjamin. So those two tribes get together to form the Jews. So those are. Two. So now we've mentioned so far what uh, three. We've mentioned them, yeah. uh, four. Well, Judah is not one because one of the lost tribes. So they. Uh, others, so three. Yeah. Uh -huh. So then there there's there's seven. Then there's Gad, which in Hebrew is pronounced Ga, because in Hebrew you don't normally pronounce the last letter, so Ga is the Gans. And okay. uh, they themselves, we talk to a now Wulome, he will tell you that all the Wulome in the Ga tradition have their petty, uh, their gods of the river and this and that, Sugumo, Sagumon or whatever it is. Or that. But the Nawulomo himself, his god is Churapon Kwame. Okay. Which is the god of Israel. Yeah, four. Then there's the Dangbe, which is the Dangbe people over here. Normally they say God, Dangbe, they join the two together or that. But the Dangbe's are different, are separate. In fact, they are even their language is a little different. The interesting thing about the Dangbe's is that in the Bible, that, and I'm using your word for it, but I would say, <laughs> I would say, you know, to, to simplify it for everybody, but I would always prefer to say Tanakh because we use our own language to say things. Why? Because they mean a lot more to us. Than you see, when you go around saying the Old Testament, for us, it's an insult. There's nothing old, there's nothing old about our covenant with the God of Israel. It is as alive today and as fresh today as it was thousands of years ago when Moses met the God of Israel and the children of Israel met the God of Israel. And that's why we, we prefer to use our language. No, but you a, said Old Testament from uh, the beginning of your submission. Because I, I wanted to explain that. so that people understand. Don't worry, you continue. Okay. Without continuing to say Tanakh when they don't know what it is that Tanakh is. So then there is uh, Dangwe. The Dangwe's in the Tanakh are very interesting because in the Tanakh they were called the voice of Dan because they were the heralds of uh, of uh, Israel. They were the ones who would come and report there's an army coming, there's this danger, there's so and so, there's so and so. They were the heralds. The people came to messengers who would come and report events. And in the same way they are called Dan Bui. In their language, Dan Bui is voice, the voice of Dan. 
Exactly what they were called in the Bible. Then there's the Zebulon. That's one of the more interesting ones. In Hebrew, Z and D are interchangeable. So that you find that in our language fanti, for example, I will say Dazi or I will say Daddy. Z and D are, we can, we can make it. Yeah, Eziban, Ana Ediban. Mm. You know, we change the two. So Zebulon in Hebrew is Dagbon. The Dagomba people. Zebulon? Yes. Dagbon? Yeah. In mm. fact, if you remember, they have chiefs called Dabolona, Zebulon, Dabolon. And everything about them is unique. Their language, the Legon people discovered, is more akin to Fanti, Ga, and all these other languages. All our languages are all Hebraic, so they're all similar to each other. Practically the same words. And Dabon, you know, is different from all the other languages in the north. Very unique. And they have the same problem of two brothers, two brothers, two brothers, two brothers. Always. Moses and Aaron. All of them were led by two brothers. All the tribes. Because they all go back to the same Israelitism. Then there's Issachar, which in Hebrew is pronounced Ishekri. Ishekri if you know uh, Nigerian. Ishekri. Okay? Then there is Asha. Ashanti. Ashanti? Yes. That's Asha. Now, Asha and Naphtali. Naphtali in Hebrew is pronounced Inti. You see, a very long word, but... Uh, inti? Inti. Almost uh, here. I will come to it. Now, Inti and Asha went to live among the Akans in Mount uh, Syria. And they called them Asha Ninti. Asha Ninti, that's why it became Ashanti. Nefa Ninti, Fanti. So, together called the Akans. But they were not Akans, they were living with the Akans. If you still read the uh, Tanakh, you read about the Akans of Mount Syria. Okay? Then there is uh, Isaka, Asha, and T, all that. I think we've practically gone through all of them. No, is it ten? Eight. Is it ten yet? Eight. Eight. Ephraim. That is the Joseph. Joseph. Joseph had two tribes. Ephraim and Manasseh. And Manasseh, absolutely. Now, Ephraim in Hebrew is pronounced a irima. <laughs> very curious, eh? A irima. Tomosu A irima. If you go to Togo and you go to his Togo schools, their history books are full of the tribe of Airima, who are a northern Togolese tribe, who, according to the history taught in all schools in Togo today, are the ones who were taking sla uh, slaves from northern Togo to Salaga, and from Salaga to Elmina, my hometown, where my own ancestors sold them like the Bible <laughs> to America. Um, please, let's get this straight here before you continue. Manasseh and Ephraim, are they part of the 12 tribes? Yes. Because they are not children of Jacob. They are rather children of the son of Jacob. So how did they become part of the 12 tribes? Because... All the tribes and their descendants and their children all are the ones who became the tribes of uh, Israel. The main uh, uh, sons of Jacob gave birth to all these people. Remember that they went and lived in, in Egypt. And it took 430 years in which they were slaves and their old fathers had died years and years and years and years before. Before the God of Israel came. And said, ah, wait a minute. I hear you white guys are suffering a lot of it. That's after 430 years of crying. So are you now saying the grandchildren forms one of the tribes? No. All the tribes were made up of the great, 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 great grandchildren of, of these uh, Jacob people. has 12 sons. Yes. They, make, they make this 12 tribe of Judah. We are not talking about the generation. 
So if you are mentioning the 12 tribes of Judah and you, uh, you uh, of Israel and you add Manasseh and Ephraim to it, this is where I'm getting confused. Because those are, they can be generation of one of these 12 tribes. They can't be part of these 12 tribes. They are grandchildren. The 12 tribes of Israel are the children, the, the sons, and their, and their descendants of Jacob. I will say to you again. At the time that Moses was sent to the tribes of Israel, they were already in Egypt 430 years. They had given birth and birth and birth. These were generations and generations. They were all great, 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 great grandchildren of the original Judah and Joseph and all of those. Okay, let me get this one before you continue. You said the Asante people. You just translated. Asha. Asha mm. and the Inti. Mm. That gave them the As As Asante. That, that, that's why the word Ashanti, Ashanti came into being. Okay. Yeah. According to Asante people, because I do um, documentary for Africa, they tell their history or their story that their name was not Asante. It's because of the war that was led by Konfuanochi. That is when they, get, they got their name Asante. Asante. So that one they are saying that is what formed their name and what you are telling us now which one do we take well, ashanti they are also saying because of the war so ashanti so which one do we take right now my dear if you look at your own history of your own life yeah and the life of your fathers and grandfathers or whatever and all that you'll find many many stories of events that happened you know if you have old people you will know, tell you all that and some will be explained and some will have, have no explanation but a lot of them will be there will be events and 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 cultural observances that the people themselves have long forgotten. Let me give you an example. Why do we circumcise of all the human beings on this whole planet? We, the tribes I've told you about now, and the Jews, Judah and Benjamin, are the only people on this planet, the whole planet, who circumcise their male children on the eighth day according to the covenant of Abraham. God made a covenant with Abraham that you will circumcise your male children on the eighth day. Muslims circumcise, but they do it when they are 13 years old. Eighth day, every Afanti man will go and take their children and do what... My own children, I had Jewish children to come and do it in, for me in London, my sons. Ask them, why do you circumcise your children? They don't know. Ask them, today, you find a lot of people very hungry. Or at least back when I was young, they did. And they will see a big cow hit by a truck, dead on the road. Nobody will touch it. Because in Zabofun, we don't eat blood. And you ask somebody, why don't you eat blood? They say, that's the culture. That's what we are. We don't. There are many, many things that our people cannot explain to you. And yet they do it. Mm. Please continue. So, the Ashantis may have found some reason to try to explain something that has been gone. These are thousands of years ago since they migrated here. Recently, I understand that when the Asantini did some ceremony over there, they finally said, we are Israelites. If you go to the girls today, now they will tell you that, listen, we come from Accra in Israel. There's Accra in Israel. I'm not disputing that fact. The fact, the, the only problem is the names you are translating. 
Ah, because I'm, I'm now translating them from the Hebrew and trying to make you understand that in Hebrew, yeah, they've, they've forgotten the Hebrew long ago. And yet, when I speak Hebrew over here, and I have some of uh, our colleagues come from Israel, they respond to me as if I'm speaking, uh, uh, when I speak Fanti, they respond to me as if I'm speaking Hebrew. Please because continue. many of the words are the same. I mean, if you say something like Tel Aviv, you know Tel Aviv? The, the I know Tel Aviv. Yeah, in Israel. In Hebrew, it's pronounced te aviv. And you know what it means in Hebrew? The hill or stone of sweetness. Exactly the same thing as uh, ever. Ever, te aviv means the hill or stone of sweetness. The same language. Everything is the same. Shekel, you say shekel, shekel is shika. How much shikalim do you have? That's how it's pronounced, shika in Hebrew. Everything, and the one thing that you should always remember, there's one word which never changes in every, uh, because once tribes are spread apart, the language starts to change. I mean, if you go to England, and you go to Liverpool, the language they speak of, Newcastle, the language they speak there, you will, not, you will not understand a word of it. But they are speaking English. Perfect English they are speaking, but you won't understand a word. And nobody else will understand a word either, not just you. The Englishmen themselves won't understand a word because they, 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 the language has, has changed and twisted and everything and all that. It's normal with every language. Hmm. You are watching the biggest. We are discussing... The ten lost tribes of Israel. So they he's one of them. He's trying to they will find a time will come for them to go home. Find them and go back home. Am I correct? That's right. And this is the time. Yeah. So tell us how it's going to happen. And who gave this time? It's all in the in the Tanakh. Uh, we want to know. It just says that at the end of time, this will happen in the latter days in the last days. Now, I look around and I kind of figure that it's beginning to look more and more like the last days because there are certain prophecies which in the Tanakh which have come true which are incredible. For example, the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel said in the last days they will change they will change the seasons and they will change the law. As for seasons, well, we can all see that the weather has changed. A lot of this thing about weather everywhere in the world has changed. But the law, I said, I said ah, what does it mean by they will change the law? Then it came to me, the law of gravity, the fundamental law of the universe. The law that pervades everything in the universe. The law of attraction. That opposites attract and like and like, what? Repel. Now they say a man can marry a man and a woman can marry a woman. They have changed the law. The most fundamental law of this universe. And that, if that is not a sign of the end, nothing else is. Because without attraction, everything will fall apart. Okay, so how are you going to find your people? How are you taking them home? Since you are telling us their names, then it means you know where to find them. It means that so I'm using your program to tell them that, listen, you are Israelites. Get up. Let's start getting to know yourselves, getting to know what is uh, important, going back to your God, the God of Israel, go to your Tanakh, and let's go home. So they, are, are they going home with their consciousness or they have to move out? Because God <laughs> say if they are going, I know what to do. <laughs> so I take it. Because I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I won't leave a land like Ghana and go to Israel. For what? So it says they are from there and they are ready to go and you people are finding them. Now we know, guns, Asante, say, tell us, uh, I feel a uh, man, she has <laughs> my whole life. Oh, move, yeah, me, me, my crown, me, ho. I mean, we see times I a day. So tell us how this thing is going to happen. So I also do my calculations out of it. No, all the prophecies are there. 
For example, in uh, Ezekiel, it talks about torrential rains. And we can see torrential rains everywhere. It talks about that in the end, every man's sword will be against his brother. So there's fighting and strife in practically every country. So we understand yeah. the time. You have justified it. How are they? One thing that, uh, which is about the Suez Canal, this is, uh, says that the God of Israel will blow his trumpet, his, bre his breath mm -hmm. on the lake in, uh, in uh, Egypt and cover the land. That cover the land of what? Egypt? No, the Suez Canal. Okay. And turn it back to what it was at the time of the Exodus. Mm. So that people can walk across it on foot that they used to do during the time of the Exodus. So, you know, only 150 years ago, Ferdinand de Lesseps, a French engineer, got permission to make that canal to join the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. The prophecy in Isaiah chapter 11 says that that canal is going to be closed with the breath of the God of Israel. And the lake which serves it is going to be dried up. When that happens, the children of Israel will run across, I think they will cross the desert, go into Egypt and come across Rafa, where they are, so that. Or uh, there's another entrance, I'll remember in a minute, that you can get into Israel from. But they'll be welcomed by their brothers. I understand, but when is this going? When are they going? How are they going to go? So when I see that sign, I can make a move. I can't lose God with this one. I think, I think, because timing is not something that we can see. We can only look for the signs of it and all that. But there's one sign that uh, I think will point to the possibility that all these things will occur within the next four years. I understand perfectly, but do you have an idea how they are going to go, the movement, since you know where they, they, it will be close for them to walk across? Now we know the road is, is, the road is ready, the time is due. But how is it going to go? Is the well, sound you can see going that to seven of the tribes are here. Three of them are in uh, Nigeria. In Nigeria, the uh, Ibos, uh, Isaka, Ichekri, and uh, and the Manasi and this are, are spread around West Africa. Um, what what bothers me is that the original Exodus, when the God of Israel took the children of Israel from Egypt to uh, Israel was a very, very harsh thing. I mean, he had to cause them a lot of trouble before they would get up and leave. In fact, finally, he even had to, you know, open up the sea, let them cross it, and so they couldn't come back. Because when anybody's leaving their, their home, they are not very happy. Which means that, which means that Things will happen here which will make them go. Yeah, so they will go by force. I'm not saying necessarily by force. I'm just saying that they may be unhappy enough. I mean, today there are a lot of people who are crossing the sea to go to Europe on, in boats and things like that. Maybe they will be uh, unhappy enough to also join these boats and all those things and all that. Throw away. Eh? They will do throw away. Yeah, or whatever, to go to Israel. But at least there will be jobs in Israel to go to, mm. and food and everything. Okay. Have you have how many times have you been to Israel? Many times. Many times. Mm. So if they put Israel, the land, you know everything. How the place look like? There are stones. I've even lived in Gaza before. Okay. So when you look at that place, and you look at Ghana lands and our location, mm? Mm. which one do you prefer? Well, let me answer this. When the children of Israel looked at the land of Egypt and the things they used, they even told the God of Israel, this manna of yours is nice and all that, but we are tired. You know, we we want eat, garlic we and watermelon. Meat. We used to eat meat in, a <laughs> in Egypt. So, so you, you admit perhaps, that here is better than there? Oh, well, why not? You know, and it's a wonderful the, country. And these people should leave there and go there. And go and uh, uh, the bullet that they are exchanging there. Who so knows which what kind will, of God is who, this? Who knows what will happen? Who knows what will happen anywhere? So if they don't go and they stay here, what stops them from becoming Israelites? I think that everybody deserves to go home. 
deserve to go home. So they will back go. home to where? Because it is better to be buried in your own land to uh, than to die somewhere else. No. It's a uh, it's a very complex thing to. I mean, I can't imagine not being buried in Jerusalem. I mean, mm. you know. So those who have be, who are dead and buried here already. Well, my father and all that they are all. So dead and buried here. No, no. You see, when when Joseph died in Egypt, four hundred years afterwards. They carry their bones. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. uh, so if anything happens to you, I'll let them carry my bones back, back to Israel. <laughs> you are watching the biggest too. <laughs> the, all these people will go. They should go now. Eh? We need the land too. They don't even know the, 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 that they are Israelites. So how can they go now? And, and, and Judah does not know them. Look, I was in my... I went to my synagogue in New York. And I applied over there. And they said, look, we've got to check your background, okay, to find out whether you are really, you know, before we can let you come in. And it took about six months. And the, the rabbi called me and said, ah, okay, we've established your family, your family, both mother's side, father's side are all, you know, 100% Jews. So you are welcome. So I went in. Then he called me and said, ah, but wait a minute. I want to ask you, are you circumcised? And I said, ah, but... All the West African tribes, they are all circumcised. He said, oh, has Judaism spread so far? I said, there's no Judaism in West Africa. It's our culture. I'm going to your bottle. But yeah, and she said, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. They are brothel. I'm going to go to Israel. They are brothel. They are Jews. Are they not white people? When you go to Israel, every color on this earth is there. Brown, yellow. There are Chinese Jews, slant-eyed, Japanese Jews. Bibiao. Uh, so I'm asking the white people there. There are white people there. There are brown people there. There are black people there. There are blue people there. There are yellow people there. There's every color. And the, because the God of Israel intended to put all his people together as representatives of every nation on earth. Destroy all other people. Hey, sir. Yeah, mm. destroy all other people and come down and 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 uh, and and uh, and uh, rule over the earth with only his people, Israel. Now, yeah, then yeah, 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 yeah. In Isaiah forty-nine, read it. In Isaiah forty-nine, he said, he, he said, so yeah, I will make you a banner unto the nations, so that I can extend my salvation to the ends of the earth. He changed his mind over there. Otherwise, in change here. Thank you very much. Yeah, mope. Eh. And I may be said you again. Eh. And you know now white people now on in are they on on the Jews people. like us. Okay. Like circumcised, you know, properly. Yeah, is this circumcision that 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 circumcision on the eighth day is a very important mark. Is this circumcision that defines East Africans don't circumcise? Is it uh, is this circumcision that uh, uh, identifies It's one of the things that uh, identifies our people. But then if you do a DNA test, you'll find a lot of things which identify our people are special, very special. I mean, for example, if you take a man in, uh, say, Nima, who has never been to school, yeah, put him down, teach him a bit about the computer for three days, he will run circles around everybody. Because we are naturally brilliant. All of us, the children of Israel. Oh, yes, of course. Dabon. Um, Dabon of Unia. Dabon of Unia. Uh, mm, oh, absolutely, yes. Now, a high free. <laughs> mm, you are watching the biggest too. And the largest. Mm. Now, I wanted to know whether the white people are going. Now, Israel, Croatia, Croatia. We have all the colors in the world. Don't keep saying white people. I mean, my grandfather, yeah. The, the, the head of my family, the family clan head, Ubusepin, is JVF Phillips and his family. They are totally white. Completely white. I'm not worried about that. Your name tells it all. But I wanted to know how you people are going. Mobile Statia Nanti and Efriha. And I'm on the car, and I'm on the planes. Because I don't see why you should use the water, the river that is being covered, no? 
say no na kire say mo now nobody will walk like before and go to israel so nso no ma kwa kata so na yes and what's the essence that's what i want to understand because you just buy well, your tickets when the, when the time comes you will see them moving the walking I don't know whether they will walk or they will be in a plane. But or they how would they cross the place, the river that is being covered, to fulfill the prophecy? How would they cross that river? They will, the that, man that, that, one, that one day they will walk. But maybe they will take a plane to uh, Egypt and then walk across. Oh my to goodness. Taba, 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 yeah, I think. Taba ah, in, uh, because you can actually go to Turkey. When I'm uh, normally going, I do transit. Turkey, from Turkey, and then one and a half hour, I'm in Israel. Why are they going to pass Egypt? No, because they want to walk. No, what kind of this thing is this? They want to go across the uh, the Sinai. So they they they, they, they uh, foot must happen at all costs. Oh yes yes yes. We, how how do we balance this? <laughs> <laughs> right. well, you are watching the biggest. We shall invite you to come with us. Me Grace. I won't be there myself because I'll be I'll I'd have gone ahead. Me, I love you. Nobody will take me from Ghana. Me. Oh, we merely ask you to come and visit us. For what? That's your place. I've been there more than 10 times. What am I going to do there? Living Ghana land, this land, that you can grow coconut even on roof to go to Israel. That's your white sand. What am I going to do there? It's the land of the God of Israel. God? Who, which is, who is that God? In fact, tell me, who is that God? Is it Yahweh, Elohim? Who? Which one of these? My dear. Yes, Papa. Both in Hebrew and in Fanti or Ga or any of those, uh, we only have titles, descriptions of this God. Okay, your friend Irazi in Fanti. Yeah, the same as Adonai, meaning a Lord, uh, owner of everything. Bibi Anura, Irazi. Turam Kwami, Nyami, the one who created you. But everything is me, 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 Nyami. Kwame, me, 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 I, 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 I. That's what we recognize him by. But you see, this is the one that created everything. This is the only thing that lives forever. Everything else dies. Everything was born and dies. Everything in the universe. <laughs> How will a, a simple nothing like myself know how the God of Israel changes his mind about anything? Who am I? Because he told you people he will take you people there. You will take plane and get to Egypt and walk to Israel. <laughs> and then he will put all of, all of you there and, and, and destroy all of us. Are they here one or boy? Eh? Ah. Who also created the pigs? And that's what I'm asking. Who, 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 who created them? Every time that you ever think of anything, yeah, think of the man who manufactured or created, say, the Nissan car. That man can take every Nissan car and destroy it and make the, a new one. The God. I'm just trying to give you an example. Uh, the, creator, I, I guess the creator or producer of anything created all of can us. destroy everything and start all over again and do a new one. Because of what? He just wake up and say you want to. Well, he might decide, yes, yes, he might decide that, I mean, you know, you're a bunch of idiots and let me destroy all these people and, and make it. Bunch of ones. idiots. Yes, he, ah, uh, uh, what happened with uh, this guy, um, Adam? Same problem. He saw that Adam was an idiot. And destroy him? Well, he didn't destroy him, he died. So why wouldn't he leave us to die? He will be coming to destroy us. You I didn't say he's coming to destroy you. Um, I'm saying to you that, I, how would I know what he thinks or what he doesn't think? But you are talking about it. No, no, I'm merely quoting what is in that the, Tanakh. Mm. That is all. Okay. I have no right, nor will I even dare to say, say, I know what the creator is thinking, nor what his mind is, or why he's doing anything. I have nothing. But it's possible he can flash out, because he said he can do anything. Oh, yes, of course. He's the creator of everything, so he knows what he's doing with what he created. Mm. I mean, if you have, do you have a child? I do. Children. Children? Yes. Excellent. Well, a beautiful woman like you. Six of them. Children. How many? Six. In oh, I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Check my profile. No, you are too beautiful to have uh, six children. Is it ugly people that have plenty of children? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, it should, should have torn you apart by now. Really? Six children. That's Check that's my profile. Oh, I'm, I'm impressed. Ah. Huh? Wonderful. My last ones are 20. My first ones are 30. Goodness, you are joking. I'm not joking. I'm serious. I'm serious. Goodness gracious. I'm not with Scooby-Doo show now. I'm a <laughs> I'm serious here. Oh, I'm, I'm a mean, real deal. No, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. Yes. I'm impressed. So this man Crazy, that... When you bore those children, uh -huh. you could have done anything you wanted with them. That is the difference is all that. No. Whoever... No, no. You could have. You did not. Uh, people aborted their wounds. Uh, well, they... Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they are humans. <laughs> But what God. I'm trying to say is, is that whoever people. is producing anything has the opportunity to do whatever he wishes. And God is also the creator. Any, the creator. No, the God of Israel. Don't just say God. When you say God, doesn't mean anything. Because anything can be a God to anybody. But the real the God, God the Israel, creator. The God of Israel. The creator is the God no, of Israel. just say the God of Israel, yes. Yeah. So the creator is the God of Israel. Absolutely, yes. So the God also of Africa. Called, also, called, also called in Arabic Allah. Allah. Yeah. It's such confused as him. No, 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 it's Hebrew. In Hebrew, we call him Eli. Hebrew and uh, Arabic are like fanti and tree. Yeah, it's the same thing. I'm coming. So we say, La ila ila la. He's talking about Eli. I'm coming. La ila ila la. Oh, I'm coming. The person that I see in this, God of Israel, and the young man. Yeah, can't go out there for Israel. Yes, 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 yes. So, yes. so you know, you know. Who when it happens about. like that, we are calling the Creator. Exactly. Am I correct? Oh, wonderful. So when I say God of Egypt, Forget God it. of Africa, what am I calling? Oh, you are calling. Uh, I don't know what is snake. Idiot. A snake, a snake, a snake, or a, 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 a public toilet. I don't know what you are calling. Hey, Papa. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you because Why? you are paying. And can maybe some question here. Ask me. A snake is. <laughs> 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 you are watching the biggest. Is that for me? I'm going to go. Asha, I need to move. I need to go this to chair. If I didn't know, I'm going to move. I'm going to move the free horn. I'm going to go this to. I don't know. I don't know the history of. Uh, what I do know mm -hmm. is that Okonfanochi was from Levi. Was an it was an Everman. Confanochi was uh, that one we heard it from. Oh, uh, uh, confu from Anochi. Anochi. Noche, in, uh, Noche. In Noche we've in, been uh, there. Yeah. We've uh, done uh, documentary there. Yes, of course. King Ago, Chief Ago, call yes, uh, uh, We've done. Uh, and uh, the Levites are, you know, they were the temple assistants of the God of Israel. Mm. They so are the great magicians. Two will go, and they have a yes because they need be Hey, God of Snake and Public Toilet. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love revelations. Ah, hey, this show. Well, lie. Papa, advise your people and let them go fast. Garland, we can't, we, 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 we are too much here. So they should just leave. No more fast radio. I'm honey at the end of my mind. So, Papa, please, your last words, your advice to people, how they should understand this tribe and everything that you have discussed with us today. Your advice, your last words. So, it is important that there's a there's a saying that um, was made by Socrates and the Greek writers of the of your Bible uh, <laughs> quoted it in that he said of my man, Bible yeah man know thyself yeah it was the most famous saying by Socrates the Greek philosopher man know thyself and it is it's a very important saying. It is better. It is important that we know who we are, because we don't. And when you think very carefully, and let me leave you with the last word, yeah, for those who think and who will sit down and think properly. Remember that everybody thinks that we were descended from Adam. Adam was the first man who were descended from. The, no, we were descended from Adam and Cain. But there were two people that we were descended from. Adam has his descendants, and Cain had his descendants. But Cain was a soul. Adam was a body. So we go, body up here, we go down inside the earth to the land of the soul, someone has it. <coughs> and then we come back here, and then we go back. And then one day, up here goes down, 
down here comes up. So Adam and Bani came. The Bani came, but he became a, a patriarch by himself and gave had and you can read it in your in your in your, in your Tanakh. <laughs> in your Tanakh. <laughs> you read over there that he had a line, descendants and all that. And so did Adam. So there were two different because there were two different people. One was a soul, one was he said Adam had a child in his own likeness. The king was not in his likeness. He was a soul. Mm. And Adam became a body. So who was Adam's son? Cain was Adam's son, but as a soul. So he became different. Um, I understand. But when, 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 when Adam made a mistake and he uh, was given a body, then, you know, he was no longer, his soul was there, yeah, but he was no longer, he was now more a body than soul. So, uh, so Adam uh, um, uh, make, uh, committed the sin and became body. Yeah, but Cain um, didn't. Cain killed his brother. Yeah, that's a So why didn't he become... That, 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 that's a different thing altogether. <laughs> you, your last words, so we can go. If there's so any let us, let, us, let us all think very carefully about what our ancestries are, what, where we come from, who we are, what we are. And um, it is not easy to... My mother... My mother, my mother was a Christian, so was my father. Okay, even though they were descended from, they knew they were descended from Dutch Jews and all that, but a lot of the people in Elmina, Van der Poy, all that, they're all Dutch Jews, all of them, all the people in Elmina are Dutch Jews. Warman, Wartenberg, uh, you have heard Van der Poy, uh, Rysberg. Uh, you come to Elmina, every name is a Van Dyke. The here, uh, my own cousins, uh, the. Uh, uh, say Tibu's uh, people call uh, the here, the here, all that. We're all Dutch names, mm, okay. Dutch Jewish names, but we must go back to our ourselves and and try to find who we are and what we are, and and then decide what we want to do with ourselves because these are difficult times because the world is changing. And it's changing very, very, very fast. I mean, the weather, if it keeps going up, which it will, because the planet is like that. If you see it going up and up and up, it will continue going up and up and up till it gets to 60 degrees when you can't breathe. And everybody, your God will kill everybody. No, your weather will kill everybody. Mm, who caused it? The weather. Ah, I thought the white man said that uh, uh, your carbon is the one which is causing it. I mean... One of the things that I find very, very difficult to understand, in our culture, when somebody dies, they take a piece of cloth and tie it around him and bury him. Today, and for so many, many years since the white man came, you know what they do? You see the trees? The trees are the ones that we breathe our carbon dioxide. The trees take the carbon dioxide and break it into oxygen and carbon. The oxygen, we breathe it back. The carbon, they make food with it for us to eat. Photosynthesis. You understand? Mm -hmm. That same fine tree, which is giving us oxygen to breathe. Yeah, if we use it for coffee. Exactly. <laughs> to go and put it in the ground and rot it. Uncle, there's some medicine and what if it is? I don't know how to do it. Public toilet, God, and you kingdom me. Yo, thank you so much for coming, Papa. We appreciate you. Please be fast with your people and go. We need <laughs> the lands. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the biggest, the largest, and the highest. Today we have we've had a Jew with blood on this set. We keep making records. We keep making records. So we are very ready. So have they make blood tests and all that about you to make sure you are a Jew? You said it's in your blood. Have you? What tribe are you? Me. Minimpo. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you so I'm much. I'm going to ask you, have they made a blood test or you to find out which tribe you Whatever are? Whatever I think I am, I have made a blood test about that and I'm so to sure find that you are gone. about it. No, not that. Oh, yeah, uh, Whatever I am. And what are you? Eh? 
I don't really know, but I'm something. <laughs> Maybe I'm the snake god. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, Papa. Thank you so much for coming. We do appreciate you. Um, shalom.